Is the perfect murder weapon of the Middle Ages being used on you? Either this is Dr. G, and I want to bring to your attention a possible toxin that you may be eating without realizing it. Now, our recent testing of rice products by Consumer Reports showed high levels of arsenic. Now, arsenic at a level of 10 parts per billion, the EPA puts that as the limit for drinking water. And, and this is the amount that it's estimated increases the risk of cancer about uh, one in 300. And that's actually a cause of cancer. Now the testing by Consumer Reports showed that you may get this amount of arsenic in a half a cup of rice. Now Consumer Reports also said that all the samples of rice milk tested were above this EPA limit. Even more disturbing is that rice cereal for infants had 10 times the EPA limit for arsenic. Their urinary arsenic excretion was 44% higher compared to not eating a rice product. Now, even if you don't eat rice, you could be at risk if you eat any processed foods that are sweetened with brown rice syrup. And that's like the cereal bars and cereals and, and many other processed foods. Now this brown rice syrup can also be found in other products that you might not even think would have anything related to rice in it. And one of those products is those energy shots that you use during an in endurance event, like a marathon, those little packets you squirt them out and it gives you lots of energy. Well, a 2012 Dart Dartmouth College study tested one of these products and found 84 parts per billion of arsenic. Remember, the EPA limit is 10. So that's way above the EPA limit. And here it's in a sports gel that's supposed to give us energy. And I guess it does give us energy as well as maybe poisonous and cause cancer. Now the Consumer Reports testing showed that rice grown in the South Central United States had the highest levels. So let me tell you briefly about what you can do to reduce your exposure to this potential toxin. Now first, I would advise cutting down on rice products, and especially if you eat several a day. Uh, now with the gluten-free craze that's out there, I see a lot of people that are eating you know, two, three, four, up to 10 different kinds of rice foods each day. So what I would suggest doing is adding other grain, grains and other starches as your carbohydrate source, like quinoa, uh, sprouted wheat, organic corn, especially blue corn is healthy. Sweet potatoes is a good source of starches, taro root, squash, organic potatoes, barley, and oats are just some, some ideas. Now, another thing I'd recommend doing is avoid extruded breakfast cereals. I'd avoid all of them, but especially avoid the rice-based ones, like rice checks or rice puffs. All the extruded cereals have denatured proteins, but the rice adds in an element of arsenic. I'd also avoid rice milk. Another thing you can do to reduce the arsenic level in the rice that you eat is rinse your rice at least three times before you cook it and discard that water. Also, you can soak it for an hour or so and discard that water. Now, you need to read labels and avoid products sweetened with brown rice syrup. Now, rice that has been shown to be lower in arsenic include the basmati rice from India and Pakistan as well as jasmine rice from Thailand. Now it's interesting, California grown rice tends to be lower in arsenic than that South Central United States rice. Now a little arsenic is okay. It's the dose that makes the poison. This is Dr. G. Thanks for watching.